gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I messed up my damn split by 30 minutes and that 30 minutes I needed to get up here. So they had everybody stage on this side. We go across the street right there, right there where the crane set up and get unloaded. They'll take all of, I'm pretty sure it's like 15, 20 minutes per truck. I know they're gonna take 20 minutes um, cause that's how fast they are. So the first guy moving out, I'm number three, get all set up, get situated. Like I said, real quick unload. Like I said, if I could have got here last night, I would have. Everybody that I ran into, I was like, hey, if you have the time to get up there, go ahead and get up there. Follow the directions. Don't go by the doggone uh, GPS because it's going to take you on that back road that's that's on this side back here. You take that right off exit 45, it's going to bring you up this way uh, on the west side of the building. So pretty simple. Like I said, you pull over. Get unloaded. That's one. That's two. I'm um, three, four, five, six. There's another one coming. That's seven. So I think it's like eight trucks, give or take. Uh, but like I said, it should be fairly quick, though. You know. But I'm already ready to go. The guys on top of the roof, they're ready to go to get the insulation too. So needless to say, it won't, it won't be too long to get unloaded. Nobody's in the office yet. It's eight o'clock, seven o'clock Central Standard Time. So uh, we'll see how this works out. So it should be very interesting and a very uneventful day. It's Thursday. Should be heading back to uh, heading back to Florida eventually, I would think. Now, if I had it my way, uh, it, it all depends on my next load. Now, if I had to get something like I did last week, when I went uh, to Charlotte and went back up to uh, to uh, Virginia, it wasn't Richmond, I forgot the other, or was it Richmond? Anyway, you know, deliver there, grab paper, come back and get home Saturday. That would be my plan if, you know, if I had that choice because that's just how my hours are going to work and how the time's going to, you know, how it's going to work out. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I should get something going right back to Florida. I mean, ain't that far. I'm only... Uh, about what was it 400? I call it 400 and I think 430 miles. So that ain't nothing, y'all. You could do that in a day. So I could probably get some. Remember to go back through the house, not to the house. All right. So it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna see. Like I said, man, they gonna get this stuff off really, really quick. Really, really quick. got it down to like a damn science to me to literally they hook up to it and just pull it up three lifts man that's it three lifts and that stuff's off the damn truck so pretty damn fast in my book you know i can really tell who's not a morning person you know i can just tell how guys move around and how they carry themselves sometimes you know you know, actions speak louder than words sometimes. Sometimes, you know, people know look at you a certain type of way or treat you a certain type of way because of how you carry yourself. I.e., most people know how TMC conducts business. So that's why they like to deal with TMC. You know, I was considered us to, you know, trucker Marine Corps and uh, all this other foolishness. But how you move around, how you conduct yourself, says a lot about you. Like I said, I see a lot of guys just going with the motion kind of just like whatever like not moving with a sense of purpose you know but hey it's that's on you like i said i mean i know everybody's different but i know that you know being at places like this you know um you get all loaded quick so you gotta be ready to go guys just doing whatever so i'm already next to the shoot they already got one truck unloaded and then i'm number three so i got to pull up
All right, like I said, hey, they're on truck number, truck number four, actually truck number five. But like I said, I mean, they unload quick, man. A guy remember me from last week, said, hey, you're back. <laughs> so yeah, man, it says easy money, man, easy money. Um, so I'm gonna see how long it takes to get dispatched. I wonder where everybody stays at because it's eight trucks here and I'm telling you, I, we're probably going in eight different directions. I mean, a couple of us might be going back to Florida, but I guarantee, well, yeah, I guarantee we're going to be going a different direction. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, see how long we wait for a dispatch. Uh, quarter to eight in Iowa. So we'll see. Like I said, I mean, you can't complain, man. These are the type of places you want to deliver to because they're they're pretty freaking quick. And I'll load you quick, friendly. You know, they got parking. So you can't be mad at that at all, man. So that's what's up. So we just, we're just going to wait, man. It's one more turtle. So shit, damn nine trucks. It's another truck showing up. It's eight trucks already up here. Uh, one more pulling in. Damn. And I won't get into details, but they definitely got a discount on this load here. But um, like I said, man, you know, capacity crunch. You know, you need some freight mood at a high volume. TMC is your go-to. I'm telling you. We'll get it done. We'll get it there. Guaranteed it'll be, it's either going to be on time or it's going to be early. It ain't going to be late. It won't be late. We're we going to be early. I'm telling you, I promise you. So if you say you want us there at nine o'clock, best believe we're going to be there before that, ready to go. So you got some freight to move, call TMC. We'll get you going in the right direction. We'll get you where you need to be. High volume capacity solutions. <laughs> I guess while I got time, I tried my coffee maker. So, got the winter variety pack. Got caramel, toasted white chocolate, peppermint mocha, and medium roast. I think the first thing I grabbed was uh, the caramel, but I, I wanted that. I tried another one, so I grabbed the toasted white chocolate. So, I'm going to see what this tastes like. It's very self-explanatory. Hope we don't start brewing just yet. Takes about probably not even a whole bottle of water, but it's pretty neat. Um, what, next time, what I do is I use my smaller coffee cup and it'll fit under here. I'm not sure how it's gonna brew first time using it. So pretty neat. One cup coffee maker. I don't get no paid promotion on this or nothing, but I'm gonna try it out. It's a mainstay. Bear with me. I don't want to move my coffee cup. But, uh, don't know if you can read, uh, I think that's Spanish. Uh, Cavatera individual. But you can use coffee, or you can use grounds or the capsule. Uh, you choose the capsule that's on the top. Uh, I think it takes, smells pretty good too. Um, but it seemed like it brews fairly quick. It uh shouldn't take that much power. I don't have a truck running. So it shouldn't uh trip your inverter. Man, it smells pretty good. I can't believe I waited so long to use this thing. But just wasting time right now. Like I say, you want to get dispatched in a timely manner. Hey, take your boots off, lay down, get something to eat, or just start fooling around, and you'll get dispatched. So, man, this stuff smells good. On the back of it, it's a, uh, a, a reservoir overfill, so you can't overfill it. I want to move it, but the core is not that long. It's like just long enough for me to, uh, to which car? Man, it's done already? Sure the heck is. When it's done, it cuts off. It cuts off automatically. So that's pretty neat. So I can use my smaller coffee cup. I wasn't sure if, my, if that cup was going to be too big or not. Yeah, that's pretty daggone neat. Uh, this is $21 at Walmart. Here we go for my English speaking folks. Single serve coffee maker, mainstays. 
like I said, this ain't no customer, uh, no customer, uh, paid promotion or like this. Just something I happen to grab, and I finally, uh, I'm finally using it. Capsule goes on the top. Water goes in the back. Like I said, you can't overfill it. Right there where it dips, that says max. That's all the water it takes. So more than likely, just take whatever vessel or cup that you're going to use, fill up that cup, and then put it in the back of there, and you have some fresh hot coffee. Man, that's pretty neat. Who needs pilot when you got your own coffee maker on the truck? All right. Made it back to uh, Columbia to pick up. It's a 130-mile bounce. It's a preloaded trailer uh, going down to Frostproof. Now, this is where I always talk about having good time management because now when I messed up my split yesterday, that 30 minutes I needed to park up, for today I didn't have so that time that I use today I can't use it tonight and I can't park up tonight uh, to be able to you know drive the whole time who says things ain't gonna happen you know along the way and have some bad traffic but really don't care about that but just try to control the things I can control all right but it's a decent load um, like I said they they brought it into us but still though you always want to double check over the work of what's going on I added a few more bungees. They didn't even down do the back right, but whatever. That's why you double check everything. You walk around the trailer, you check everything. Got both my flappers. All right, so this trailer is freaking filthy. So I'm probably gonna go uh, get my truck washed for the week. Uh, I think if I pass one, I need to look on the look on the witch call and see. Seven, yeah. Huh. That damn thing's all sorts of jacked up. So. Whatever. Uh, if I can just make it to Florida tonight, that'll be great. Um, hopefully, I don't run into traffic like I did yesterday. Oh, no. That I seen yesterday. All the way from 95 southbound Savannah State Line all the way into South Carolina where the 26 and 95 split meet. It was stop and go traffic. That was 82 miles. Or I'll say 82 exits. 82 freaking exits of stop and go traffic going down south. I uh, think people are getting back from the holidays and or just getting set up for the new year. So like I said, you just take your time. Think about what you're doing. Don't rush it. You can't tell I had a truck wash this week. But uh, it seems like a pretty decent trailer. Missing a mud flap, no big deal. But um, yeah, if I, like I said, if I could have parked up last night, I would have parked up and I would have had that time to use the day to try to get all the way down to Frostproof. Now, they are strict on appointments. Like, you can show up early, or you sure as hell better not be late, or you will get unloaded at the end of the day. Ask me how I know, all right? So, I'm gonna get as close as I can, shut down for the night, and then finish up tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, make sure I'm there first thing in the morning. Soon, Hey, as soon as I get my time back, I'm rolling in there. I, I don't care. That way, just in case if I gotta do my split, I get the split done and knocked out. I said they download fairly quick in the art. Like I said, you get in there and get out. Um, may or may not get a load out of there to head back up to the house. I honestly don't care. So, also been debating about if I'm going to stay out and run um, the new year when the new year rolls around. Been debating about that. Um, it's always going to be hit or miss when you stay out and run. Sometimes you make the same, sometimes you make more, sometimes you make less. There's a lot of different factors that go into that. So, I'm going to think about it talk to my wife about it and just consider about staying out every other week try that for a bit and see how that works out all right so, but that's enough of that get on the road get some brunch didn't have breakfast this morning I had some coffee which was pretty tasty uh but uh that's about it though truck buddies we'll see you on the next one I got here at a good time. Got in and got out. <clears throat> Wanted to make sure I started the year off with a clean truck. So when I park for the weekend, when I come back to the truck on the New Year's, I have a clean truck. All I gotta do is wipe the inside down and be good to go. Clean up pretty nice. Not too bad.
71 dollars not bad it'll get it done got all that nasty little mud off of it go fill up and get back on the road i was tempted to stop by the house but i'm gonna have too many miles to drive so i'm gonna have to go ahead and just get it done man we'll get to the house sometime tomorrow yeah thank you So I guess I got unlucky lucky. I was able to, uh, even though I didn't make my appointment this morning, I was only like an hour late due to the traffic yesterday on I-95. So only being an hour late, given the circumstances, it's freaking awesome. <clears throat> so got unloaded about an hour after that. Then I came over here to Gibson Tent to grab some drywall. Now, I got dumb luck on this side, I guess we'll see, because it was a preloaded trailer checked in the guy was like hey, 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 hey think about gonna come pick this one up because i guess it was due uh yesterday or something i guess i got one of those awesome trailers i don't know who welded that they need to be fired man whoever welded this is trash i'm not a welder but i know that's not right so that kind of just tells me Somebody was using that as a step. I got hooked on to something. I see a little hole right there, but whatever. Walking around the trailer, do my final little checks. So I got to go to Pensacola Tuesday morning. Drywall, they receive uh, drywall at this Lowe's. Five o'clock in the morning. So, hey, I talked about it last week. I've been on both sides of it. Sometimes you got to leave early. Sometimes you got to just, it is what it is sometimes. I'm looking at this. I'm hoping this holds. That's why I hate recaps, man. I'm hoping and praying I don't have no issues out this daggone tire. But yeah, I gotta leave. Uh, I'm thinking I gotta leave around about. Uh, I think it's no later than 12 Monday. Kind of just, cause it's like an eight or nine hour ride. I think I gotta see from the house uh, to Pensacola and go from there. But. It was already preloaded and the trailer was like already staged for me. So usually I alternate my straps, but as you can see, I threw all my straps on one side. It's just cause it's just more convenient that way. Like I said, usually I alternate my straps, but I won't go move the trailer twice. Got my dummy strap on there. Hopefully that should hold. But um, shout out to my truck buddy, Kamar, man. It's the second time I ran to him out here. And he said he gonna stay out over the, the holiday and uh, run a little bit. Uh, at Cypress. Say so nothing wrong with that, man. So, you know, we got seven months in. He said, uh, go hold on and go from there and see what he's gonna do next. So he's gonna start working on his endorsements. But uh this place here, man, they load, they just they don't give a F about nothing, man. They load it and just put it on there. They don't care about the plastic or nothing, man. But kind of just rambling right now. Um but yeah, it's the weekend. Gonna bring in the new year right. Uh, still undecided what I wanted to do thinking about coming back down to Tampa Hard Rock go to the casino You know, they're probably trying to give away some money with it being a new year uh, So they ain't got to pay taxes on it. So if they'll give me a little bit, it'll be greatly appreciated Now I tell you what I hit a big enough jackpot TMC can come get this truck Well, no, I take that back. I'll, I'll put my life on that now depending on how much money it is I'll take the, I'll deliver this and I'll take the truck back to Des Moines and get a runner car back. 
but it's got to be a whole bunch of money. So I'm just rambling right now, just talking about foolishness. So, yep. Yeah, so I got lucky. Took about an hour to secure. Like, so I'm not rushing. It's like, whatever, man. Got about a four hour ride to the house, I think. I think I got to put in the GPS. I should know. Hell, I didn't picked up here and went home from here quite a few times. Well, that's what that looks like, truck buddies. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. And I, I appreciate every, each and every one of you guys and gals. All right. No matter what you decide to do, do it safely. Do it safely. Just think about the consequences if you do something crazy. You know, because it's a long weekend. I hate to be in jail <laughs> over the daggone New Year. Bringing a New Year in a damn jail cell with Bubba. <laughs> All right, truck buddies. See you on the next one.